Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the prehistoric most, Avery LR32 here. Did you like that? I just thought of that on the fly. Destroy the ever-living Dino Boo Boo Stain off of that like and subscribe button, or maybe it should be Dino DNA off that like and subscribe button, as well as that Taco Bell notification bell so you can be part of the A-Gang and so that we can climb even further the 1500 ladder. I'd like to hit 1600 before the end of the year. Maybe I'll jump into a pool full of roaches or something. Who knows? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, uh, I wanted to talk about something a little bit differently, and I'm sure by the title of the video, maybe a bunch of y'all clicked on it because of it. Um, maybe not tier one, um, but definitely, uh, or not tier zero, but maybe definitely tier one, but you know, tier zero cells. I wanna talk about dinosaurs. Now of all things, you're probably thinking, Avery, dinosaurs is like table 500 or booty booty butt cheek category, as you say on your tier list videos. Here's the thing with dinosaurs, and someone had pointed this out to me a while back, and with the release of the new Jirac support that we're getting in Terminal World 2 that helps support Jirac Meteor, um, this got me looking back at this again. So what you're looking at is, of course, I just accidentally sorted everything, so now it's screwed up everything, but what you're looking at is a bunch of dinosaur cards and support cards in the form of the spells that don't lock you into anything. The vanillas here, along with all these vanilla dinosaurs, because there's a bunch that you can pick from, and I saw a dinosaur deck profile that was playing Frostosaurus to support uh, the this transcend long name that we're not even going to try and pronounce. So some dinosaur decks are playing the Frostosaurus, I guess, as like a brick, but you don't have to play that, right? All of these dinosaur cards have one thing in common. They don't lock you into anything. So they don't lock you into Earth. They don't lock you into just dinosaurs. They don't lock you into anything. And they're generically good. Like, how many times do you see a dinosaur player pop a Baby Sarasaurus or a Petrodon to do a bunch of summons and they're not locked into anything? Uh, the reason why I have Stygo here is because it does lock you into dinosaurs. Um, you summon one, ignoring his summoning conditions. Also, you cannot special summon for the rest of this turn except dinosaur monsters. You can only use this effect of Stygo once per turn. And this card's destroyed by value and turn a face of card on the field of the hand. That doesn't matter, but it locks you into dinosaurs. But I have this here in case for whatever reason you want to go down a route of being locked into dinosaurs. But like double evolution pill doesn't lock you into dinos. Misk doesn't lock you into dinos. Animador, Pancratops is here because some dinosaur decks play it, but you get my point. We'll talk more about that later. Uh, Dino King Rex doesn't lock you. Giant Rex doesn't lock you. Gillosaurus, a really good card actually, doesn't lock you. And the one thing that kind of I feel pulls all this together is Jirac Alio, a level one fire so you can uh, OSS into this, if I remember correctly. Uh, and it's a dinosaur tuner. You contribute this card to select or target one level four lower Jirac monster in your graveyard, except Alio, special summon that monster from the graveyard. Not a once per turn because it's all the way from like the old school terminal set or terminal revenge, whatever, the dual terminal back in the day. So this thing's a level one tuner that lone fires a dino out, or excuse me, a Jirac monster from the graveyard. And they just got new support. What is insane about all this is not only the fact that you're not locked into anything, but you can build a board with these cards and not really be locked. You know, how many times back in the day when dinos were good, you know, I would say back in like 2018, 2019, where they would be building boards of Appalosa, Borlo Savage, Baron, using extenders like Link, Karibo, and Anima to bridge into other combo lines. Now you may be saying, well, Avery, those cards don't exist anymore. Like, what, what's the point of bringing all this up? It's the fact that you could do something like what we saw a couple years ago with Based, or as we called it on the channel, Badass Sexy Engine decks, where any two cards at the time led you into, say, like a DPE plus Dragoons plus other things, and it was very oppressive. There were 60 card builds that played a Shooting Star Dragon package with Red Rose Dragon and White Rose Dragon, whatever the other Rose Dragon cards are. They would play that package, plus, you know, like 10 to 15 hand traps, whatever it was. Nowadays, you can maybe play like 20 and get away with 60 card builds. You have so many different options available to you, especially since this new Jirac support, uh, specifically this card, the Volcano Field Spell, doesn't lock you into just Jiracs, just Dinos. It's just a generic field spell that is Dinosaur support. Same thing with Ground Xeno, generic support. Fossil Dig, a non-once per turn Rota for a level six or lower Dino. Uh, Dragonic Diagram being a pretty decent card in some Dino decks to grab a True Draco or True King card, depending on your build. Uh, Lithogasm, or some people say Lithosagem. I don't know how you get that out of lithogasm but regardless uh doesn't lock you into dinosaurs or worms or anything and you get a free three three extra deck card rip potentially 
Soul Eating over Raptor, a card that is essentially a Stratos for the deck, doesn't lock you into anything. Miscellaneous Sarasaurus, which after rereading this card, I realized it was the OG version of Sangin Summoning pretty much. If this came back to three, even better support. It doesn't lock you in. You see where I'm going with this. The other thing I want to mention as well is that something that I just screwed up the order of is that you have almost all the way from level one to eight in terms of dinosaur support. So like Animador is a level one, Baby Cerasaurus level two, Gillosaurus level three, Giant Rex level four. There's not any good level five dinos. I checked, uh, there's nothing there. Um, but you've got a level six in Dino King Rex, level seven in Pancratops. Your level one tuner, you got a level four Gwaiba that can get you another Jirak if it pops a monster. It's a little bit slower compared to the days of Dino Rabbit, but it's still a level four monster that you get out another one if you attack into something that gives you access to Dolka or Lagia. You've got Megalo, which if you control a dinosaur monster, you can special summon it from your hand. The rest of its effects kind of irrelevant, but it's the fact that it doesn't lock you into dinosaurs. UCT does not lock you into dinosaurs and is a pretty solid main deck boss monster. Uh, Transcendosaurus, however you say that, <laughs> uh, does not lock you into dinosaurs. Again, not every single dinosaur deck is going to be playing all these cards verbatim, but it's the fact that all of these cards are so generic that there has to be some way, especially with the new Jirak support revolving around Meteor, which if you don't know what this does, when it's Synchro Summon, it pops all cards on the field, and then you get to Special Summon a Tuner monster from your grave. Any Tuner. So you use the new support, you make uh, a Meteor, and as long as it's a, the last thing to happen in the chain, since it's a one effect like King Calamity, you get to nuke the board. If your cards pop like a Baby Sarasaurus, you don't care because you're going to get free value. So... Uh, there has to be something here, uh, especially too with this new um, burial twin horn dinosaur synchro that just got revealed. It only locks you into dinosaurs um, if you, let me see here, da, 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 da. you can only use each effect once per turn. Uh, you can synchro summon using its effect. Um, and then you can special summon a dinosaur monster from your hand, ignoring its summoning conditions. Also, you can't special summon for the rest of this turn except dino monsters. Uh, again, the effects are relevant, but it's the fact that it locks you into dinosaurs. Um, but really, none of this other stuff here locks you into dinos. Like, it's just utility for the extra deck that you can use. And again, Stygo does if you want to go down that route. So I am by no means an expert at deck building. There may be something here that I'm just not seeing. But like things that come to my mind is, what if you played some sort of don't lock into dinosaurs dino deck with an engine like alio and maybe oss and some other stuff and you play a fiendsmith package what if going first as the dino player you set up a uct plus a wave hiking caesar and or a uh, disarray along with other stuff like maybe you set up these new synchros once they come out maybe you're going to omega rip maybe you set up a lagia and or a dolka uh, the possibilities for this are absolutely endless and i'm no dino DNA expert, um, but I want to show this off here as a means of, I firmly believe that the pro player base, like the Pax and the Jesse Cottons and all that of the world, know that this shit exists, but they're not going to tell you because they're not going to spill the spice. Uh, who knows, maybe they're using something like Mammoth Graveyard, which I didn't know was a dinosaur until five minutes ago, but maybe a rank three dino comes out and you can rescue rabbit into <laughs> Mammoth Graveyard. Oh my god, maybe something comes out in Maze of the Master that indirectly gives dinosaur support so uh, to wrap up all of this uh, the ramblings of what may sound like a crazy dude on the internet since we're talking about dinosaurs being generically good all, uh, every now and again we've been seeing these one to two random off cards that come out as dino support i think of something like dino king rex that randomly came out as a common and people were kind of like okay well this is an ocg import what's the point it's the fact that it's a level six dinosaur and it's yet another dinosaur that doesn't lock you into anything but it's dinosaur support and if you control no monsters you can special summon this card from your hand so it's a freebie cyber dragon so you can special summon this out if you open it and then say if you've got one of these other monsters that say if you control a dino special summon it there you go now you've got free extenders and you haven't used your normal summon that in theory is really really crazy so is this going to be good you know right after you watch this video not necessarily no someone's got to cook something up and i feel that as terrible and toxic as a format we're in with snake eyes tempai yubel fiendsmith everything else the format's also very diverse i mean hell we saw a 60 card uh a hero deck playing Sparkman, Clayman, and a fucking Thunder Giant in the extra deck <laughs> like top or win a regional whatever it was i covered it on the channel 
the format's very diverse. There has to be something here, whether it gets good in a month or a year, hell, two years from now when power creep gets even crazier because you know it will because that's how they sell product. There is something here, but what that is, I do not know. But I think that the community should be aware of this, especially if the pro player base already knows that this exists and just don't want to tell anybody because that's just how they are. I think that this is something that the whole community needs to know about so that if you show up, I don't know, to YCS Orlando in 2025 where you can come up and say hi to your boy, that you're not pantsed by some random dude playing a dinosaur good shit dot deck with like Fiendsmith and Snake Eye cards and they pull a Jesse Cotton and it's 60 card uh, Fiendsmith Snake Eye dinos. Like, <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me, right? Guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I haven't seen anyone else online talking about this. And I think that this is something really interesting that the community should be aware of. I've never seen uh, in my years of playing this game, almost 17 years now, uh, has there been so many cards that don't lock you into something. Like normally archetypal cards will lock you into stuff. We have all these dino cards that don't lock you into anything. There's got to be something here. Guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.